feels kind of weird and like formal to be in this setup and not in a vlog. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how much prep this video took because coming up with my all-time favorite holy grail luxury premium beauty product was so hard, so hard. <laughs> Look how many things I went through. I literally went through this entire notebook, like writing down notes, doing pros and cons lists, like crossing stuff out. I have also done a version of this video, but the drugstore version, so if you wanna see that, I'll link it on the screen. But right now, I'm basically gonna show you a tutorial of my my all-time favorite luxury makeup products. So let's get started. So I'm starting with a bit of my Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer. I kind of felt like I had to include moisturizer in this because if my skin isn't moisturized, basically then my makeup just doesn't look good. And this is like a really gorgeous illuminating moisturizer. If you can hear Duke snoring on the floor, <laughs> then that is what you can hear right now. This basically just leaves a really luminous glow and keeps my skin hydrated all day. Foundation was probably so hard for me to choose. It was a toss up between By Terry Terribly Danceless and Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, but I feel like I have shown By Terry Terribly Danceless less on camera recently than I have Luminous Silk. I honestly love them both so much. I cannot decide between the two. Luminous Silk, I prefer the finish of, but By Terry lasts a bit longer on my skin. Also, I think the shade ranges of both foundations are really good. I look for something that's medium but buildable coverage. Buildable? <laughs> buildable. But I want a kind of really long lasting good coverage foundation which is exactly what this is. It blends so easily. For under eyes I always use something salmon coloured to counteract the bags. The Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in this salmon colour is my favourite because it just gets rid of the blue veins. It lasts long. If I've slept a lot then I'll use the YSL neutralizer and that's much easier because it's like a click pen but this is the one when I'm like I have the bags you know you know what concealer I'm using right now the NARS well actually I was about to say creamy radiant but this one's the soft matte and I think I prefer the soft matte to creamy radiant because it actually just lasts longer I use the shade vanilla and I do actually go all out under my eyes a little bit sometimes like I am now and I just go for it and it doesn't crease it lasts so long, the coverage is insane. Like if you have acne, this would be the concealer I would recommend to you. I don't think there's any other product like this concealer on the market in terms of longevity, color choices, blendability. It's just beyond. This I actually have not one, but two, I think even three finished. This one's finished, doesn't twist up anymore. This one's finished doesn't twist up anymore. This is like my go-to redness or spot concealer. It's the Clé de Peau Stick Concealer. It's so pricey. I think it's like 70 or 80 pounds, but this lasts ages. I probably go through one a year and I use it pretty much on a daily basis and I'll do my nose and conceal that. I'll do any spots or blemishes. I burnt myself with a hair tongue, <laughs> so I put that on that. Blend that out with my fingers because it's just so easy to blend. They only have like five colors or something in the range which is a little bit annoying and I find their lighter shades quite grey toned on my skin so this is the only kind of colour that works for me. This is a serious throwback product, throwback, I can't talk today, throwback product because I remember when Kim Kardashian got married the first time to Chris Humphreys, Pixie Woo did a video and I remember Nick saying that this would be the perfect wedding foundation like setting powder and I went out and bought it and I've used it pretty much since and how long ago was that when Kim Kardashian got married like five years ago? Anyway, it's the Chanel Poudre Universel Libre. <laughs> I tried that with my French accent. If I was looking for a wedding day powder to set everything, it would be this one. It doesn't have much coverage in it, but it just sets without taking away the luminosity, without doing too much mattifying. You just see there like, oh so good. For bronzer there's only one that is worth mentioning and it's the queen and king of bronzer Guerlain and this is the Four Seasons. I bought this years ago. It was one of the first ever Guerlain products that I bought. It's now actually relaunched. This actual product doesn't exist anymore. The new one is also really good. It actually has a highlighter in it. Basically any of their bronzers are amazing even if you like your bronzers to have a little bit of shimmer in them. The Guerlain bronzers are really gorgeous. I personally prefer a matte bronzer and a shimmery highlight but they just do a really good job of warming up your skin. 
This product brings me back to my uni days. This is how much I love it. Look at this. This is MAC Harmony Contour Powder. It's actually labeled as a blush, I think. I couldn't even tell you because the labels like totally come off, but this is my favorite go-to contour color. It is the perfect mix of like not too cool, but it makes you look dirty. I find the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder, I've said this before, but the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder is like too dirty for me. It looks like I've rolled around in mud. It just doesn't suit my skin tone at all. I'm too like warm for that. I like olive warmy tones, but this one is perfect for me. Blush was really hard and I actually went back to one of my first ever videos, which was like my top five blushes to be like, okay, come on, think all time, all time. And I think one of my all time faves is the Tom Ford blushes. It was really hard to choose from the drugstore. I do love the Milani ones and I do think they're really great dupes for these. This one is in the color Frantic Pink and I just think blush is just kind of that added bit of color in your cheeks and I never want anything too much. I'm an eye girl and a lip girl so I never want a blush that's like gonna take over everything. And this one has a little bit of sheen in it which is why I really like it as well. Highlight is something really really special to me. I bought this because Mario Dedivinovic created it with Giella. It's probably my all-time favorite highlight ever. The Charlotte Tilbury Film Style Bronze and Glow highlight is second, but this one is like a warmy orange. Oh, I just need to show it to you on. I rarely speak about this because I only really wear it on like best, 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 best occasions because I remember when I bought it, it was limited edition, but I think they still have them. I'll try and find a link to it and link it down below. But yeah, it was limited edition and I had to pay tax on it coming into the UK and it was like around 60 pounds. So it ended up being like an around 100 pound highlighter <laughs> and I bought it four years ago and I've <laughs> barely touched it because I just keep saving it for the best 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 occasions but it is so gorgeous it has like a golden sheen running through it and it just brings out your features so well and it's super finely milled it's just like oh it is life in a highlight for brows since this came out I've pretty much been religious no religious to it? No, married to it. It's the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. It is so, so good. It lasts super long. It's really easy to blend. Has a brush on the other side. The color range is really good. It doesn't fade. It doesn't budge. It doesn't smudge. It's just the bomb. It is literally the only brow pencil I use. Benefit really, really kill it when it comes to brows. For eyeshadow, I love this product. It's the Giorgio Armani Eye Tint. This is a really special color. It kind of reminds me of the MAC eyeshadow patina. It's like a goldeny bronze, but it's quite light and it has a little hint of shimmer running through it. So either if I'm going for a day look, I'll just wear this by itself, but it actually also acts as a really great base for eyeshadow. And I really like the doe for applicator as well because it just makes it really easy to use. So I'll literally just like put that on my lid, blend it with my finger, either leave it and just do mascara or eyeliner if I'm like in a rush or whatever. But obviously we're not gonna do that today. <laughs> Picking eyeshadows was really tough because because there are so many palettes that I love. There was too many. I love the Naked palettes. I love the Lorac Pro palette. This palette basically wins it for me. I bought this when the Charlotte Tilbury counter first launched. It's the Dolce Vita palette. I've hit pan on the three of the four shades. And I think I'm about to hit pan on the four. Actually, I can see the pan. So I've hit pan on all shades. Basically the glitter in this palette is unlike any other glitter you've ever worn on your lids. The red toned color is so perfect. I really normally stay clear of red toned shades on my eyes or pink tones even because it just makes me look tired. But this one is amazing. It makes you look so sexy and sultry. The brown has a bit of golden shimmer running through it. So it just adds some sort of like three dimensional amazing look to your eyes. And the highlight is so, so beautiful and it really Catches the light so nicely. So this is hands down my all time favorite palette. I also want to give a mention to the Instant Eye Palette because since this came out, I've pretty much been using this every day. I can't say it's Holy Grail because I haven't had it long enough, but you know when you just get a really strong feeling that I'm going to be using this pretty much every single day forever basically because I love it so much. I'm using the two matte shades from the Desk Eye to blend out my eyeshadow from the Dolce Vita palette now. I literally just started doing my eyeliner and then I was like, oh my gosh. I forgot that you were there and then 
that I needed to tell you how good this eyeliner is. So I'm gonna tell you as I do it, or maybe that might be quite hard, but basically this is the Tom Ford eye defining pen and I get so many questions about this and is it worth the money? Before this, I was pretty loyal to the Kat Von D eyeliner, but this one lasts double as long. I actually prefer the tip and it has another side to it as well with the smaller nib if you wanna do more of a natural look or something more precise. As you're seeing now, it's actually pretty easy to do a wing even without my sticky note. The color is super, super black. It goes and stays black till the bitter end of the pen, which is what I love about it. It doesn't like fade. The liner doesn't end up flaking. It lasts super long. This one was super, super easy to choose. This is the Dior Maximizing Lash Primer and you basically need this in your life no matter what you like in mascara because it adds a lot of volume, it adds a lot of length, it adds a lot of thickness and it's basically just the perfect companion to any mascara. It makes such a huge difference to my lashes. For mascara, the YSL Faux Seal Mascara is one of my all-time favorites. I like really thick, voluminous, sexy lashes even on an everyday basis and this gives that i love the effect it gives it just makes my lashes look so 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 long i love it i'm also going to use this burberry coal liner just on my top upper waterline to make my lashes look thicker i like this one because it's twist up so i never need to remember a sharpener <laughs> if charlotte tilbury can do her pillow cheat and lip talk and twist up that would be amazing hands down the hardest hardest thing of this whole video was lipsticks. I narrowed it down <laughs> to about 20 and then now I've narrowed it down to 10 and I'm looking at this 10 like how are we gonna get through 10 lipsticks but I feel like we're just gonna have to, that's the only choice. I always, always, always start with my Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat and pillow talk. You know this, my dog knows this, everyone knows this. It is my favorite and I really overline my lips with it. The reason I love this so much is I just find it lasts so long on the lips. It is a matte formula, but it doesn't dry out my lips at all. It basically just looks like my lips, but better. I'm starting with my favorite, 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 favorite Holy Grail combination, the YSL Rouge Velop Shine. These are probably my all time favorite lipsticks. They're so creamy and glossy and beautiful. They make you look like you have such a full pout. They're really moisturizing. I rarely finish lipsticks, but I have finished one of these because they're so, so good. My lip gloss, if you've been hanging around here for a while, you will know the Shantakai Brilliant Gloss in Lucky is my go-to when I want my lips to look really plump and full. It has a little golden sheen running through it, which just adds so much juiciness to your lips. And that is what I have on now. Mm. Next we have Tom Ford Lips and Boys. This one, the TF isn't even there anymore because you know normally they have like a little TF engraved. This one is in Evan. It is such a sophisticated, sexy nude. If I was gonna describe it, I'd call it like a grayish sort of color. It is like, oh my gosh, I love it. And literally nothing is better than this mini lipstick. On top of this, I put the Bare Minerals Gloss in Fly. This actually has much more pigment to it than the Shantikai one, but it also has something really golden running through it, so it gives the lips that plumper look again, which is something I like in a lot of my glosses. I think this one's actually one of my faves for a smoky eye. This lipstick is an all-time favorite of mine. This is Chanel in Boy. This is the Rouge Coco Shine, and it's just a really great everyday staple color. I feel like this will look good on anyone, no matter their preferences, no matter their skin tone. So yeah, that is Rouge Coco Shine in Boy. The Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder Lip Gloss is the most amazing, unique, color. It's like caramel, it's so sexy. It's really great for layering on top of any lipstick to make it more kind of sophisticated and nighttimey. In one overcoat, it just brings that sass that VB has in one lip gloss. It's so crazy how it does that. You just put this on and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm sassy now. I can like pout. Giorgio Armani Lip Magnet in 506. Hands down, one of my favorites. I've loved this for well over a year. It's just the best color for me. I find that this color suits my skin tone the best out of any lipstick shade I've ever tried. It brings my skin tone to life. The applicator is amazing. It's super precise so you can get right in there like this and you don't actually need to use a lip liner if you don't want to. And the formula lasts super long without drying out the lips as well. 
This is something that I've had in my makeup bag for years. It's the Dior Lip Glow. It basically changes depending on the pH of your skin. So everyone gets a different version. It's just basically a really fun lip balm with a hint of tint in it as well. I bring it with me on planes or if I'm going on trips where I want a balm that's gonna moisturize my lips but add a bit of color as well. And I think the packaging is really fun too. This one is basically if I had to make all my pinky nudes and all my nude nude lipsticks have a baby, this would be that baby. It's such an amazing Givenchy lipstick. It's a real old school lipstick formula. It has the pigment, it has the shine factor, it has the balmy factor, and it has the long-lasting ability as well. Plus, it's probably the most comfortable lipstick to actually have on my lips that I own. So if you have dry lips, this would be the one for you because it is so comfortable. So that is my finished look, 10 lip products later. So everything I mentioned will be linked in the information box below. If you wanna see my drugstore version of this video, then I will leave it on the screen right now. And then I will see you on Thursday for another vlog. Mwah. Bye guys.